So this is a post-production introduction, but you know, whatever. Good morning guys, and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a coffee table out of some crates that you can buy from Walmart for like 10 bucks a piece. I bought six crates and some other materials which are listed in the, descri the description. So you can basically just follow along this video and build your very own coffee table out of crates and it's beautiful and it turned out really good so t stay tuned for the end to see how it manifested itself let's get into the video hello so we are sanding down the all the wood stuff so crates and this fancy ma fancy majiggy behind me To be honest, to be honest, I'm over it. Whew. So, I finished sanding, me and my dad finished sanding, now I'm painting! So that's fun, painting, woo! Gray on the outside and white on the inside because I think that'll look cute and if it doesn't, I'll fix it like I don't know. I'm so sweaty. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> it's day probably a thousand of working on this coffee table. But unfortunately, I forgot to film when my dad was putting it together. So it's already put together. It's not finished, of course, but it's fairly easy to put together. And I will just point it out to you so that if you're trying to make a coffee table, if that's why you're watching this video, then you totally can. So, my dad bought a flat piece of plywood um, and cut it down to, who is mowing? Are you kidding? Got this flat piece of plywood and um, sawed it down, cut it down to be the size of all of them, like lined up in this arrangement. Now you don't have to do this arrangement. You could also do four. Um, It'll fit like perfectly if you just do four. But this is mine, I did six. So we have a plywood on the bottom so there's no hole there. And then I also got these legs and they just screw in with these fancy things that you can find at Lowe's. They're just like hardware attacher things, I'm not sure. And then um, he n nailed and screwed it in. So there are nails holding the boxes together and screws holding them down to the plywood. And so, the next thing we did was put, um, like, putty wood stuff to fill in the holes. And now I'm, are you kidding? We put st putty stuff to fill in the holes. And so now what I'm gonna do is, this is probably not even a good clip. Like, it's probably gonna be horrible and it's probably not gonna work at all because that guy just happens to be mowing. He's wearing, he's wearing a, like, nice button-down collared shirt and, like, dress pants. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, I hope you heard all my instructions, but, like, if you didn't, I'll put them in the description as well. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand these little parts that are all sandy, lol, and then I'm going to do the finishing touches of the paint. And then I'll let you know what comes next. <laughs> Alright, what we're gonna do next is we're going to paint in all the little crevices. This is like the finishing touches of paint. And then my dad's gonna finish up attaching things today and I will hopefully remember to film that LOL. And then I'm gonna finish the rest this weekend. So, 
That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Isn't she pretty? Say yes. <laughs> you broke it. So, really quick, we're finishing up the almost very last bit of this freaking coffee table. I know, you thought it was gonna be over a long time ago. Girl, me too. But we have to finish painting the coffee table legs, which are right here. I'm gonna paint them gray, and then this weekend, I'm gonna take them to the coffee table and attach them, and the last thing we have to do is get the stupid plexiglass and attach it to the top, and then it is, girl, done. Completely done. So. That will be at the end of the video. And uh, yes, for now, just I guess enjoy me painting these gray. Yes. <laughs> You're smart. Done. Finally. Ugh. So I finished up the coffee table. I put the legs on, and you can't see in these next clips that I did that, but I did. And then I just put pretty rocks and some sunflowers in that little hole thing that I made. If you remember that, well of course you do, it was like two seconds ago, but yes. Um, I put pretty rocks and sunflowers for like decoration and then I put a plexiglass on top held down with some hot glue. So um, the plexiglass can be moved so that the middle decoration can be changed but um, it matches the place that it is going right now with the sunflowers and so I'm really happy with the way that it turned out and I just think that it's beautiful so I hope that if you wanted to make a coffee table when you're watching this video you really like this one that I've made and that you can take the instructions and as it you can follow along with the video of course to see and I explain everything like as I'm doing it mostly but if you don't understand the video for whatever reason, I'm, I also put it in the description, um, all the instructions, and you should see it if you just click down there. Yes, I think that is all that I have for you today, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe so you can join my family. Hit the little bell to get notified whenever I post a video so you won't miss it. And that's it. So have a great morning. And if I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.